Hello guys and welcome to episode 3 of my Hitman series. This time I'll be tackling mission 3, a gilded cage which is set in Marrakesh. For this mission I'll just bring you along my standard equipment because that's all I need. So without further ado, let's get to it. As soon as the mission starts, make your way out the building and take a left. Push your way past all these people, then take a right. Keep going forward until you get to the open spaces of the market. When you do, keep going forward and take a left, followed immediately by a right. Now, we want to get into this area and to the left, but it is restricted, so make your way round to this area, enter sneak mode and jump over the barrier. Make your way into the shop and towards the counter. Ooh, money. Nice. Don't mind if I just help myself to all your takings for the day, pal. After you rob that cunt blind, make your way and shoulder up against this door right here. Now, we want to take this guard out, but what can we use to do that with? Ah, that'll do nicely. Eventually, these guards will split up, with the guard on the right making his way down the tunnel. Wait till he does, then wait till he's a safe distance away and then follow him. Pick up the hammer, and now it's time for a little target practice. Okay, here we go. Nice deep breath, shoulders back. Oh yeah. I love throwing my hammer at people. Wait a minute, what does this remind me of? This ought to teach you to make fun of my manhood, you bitch. It's not the size of the hammer it's the now you're throwing it at. Oh, uh, that, no, that was a mistake. I, uh, I don't usually throw my hammer at other men. Oh, oh God, um... Uh, l let's just pretend the whole thing didn't happen. Anyway, after you've stuffed his body in the container, take his clothes. And make sure you pick up the assault rifle which he dropped down the stairs. When you do that, turn around and make your way back the same way you came. Head all the way back out the shop, keep going. Take a right, follow towards the end, and then take another right where you'll head towards the school area. This is where one of our targets is. Make your way down towards the stairs and down towards the open building. Now there is a guy there that will see through your disguise, so keep a wide berth. I re recommend going through this window right here. This gives him less chance to see you. Make your way all the way to the opposite end of the building where we can work towards getting disguise number two. Now, we want to get hold of this disguise right here, this guy in the red beret. Unfortunately, he has a friend in that room with him, so we're going to have to take them both out in one swift movement. When this guard goes up against the window, take him out, then quickly turn around and take his friend out with him. Okay, that's one. Oh, fuck! Okay, that didn't work out too well, so let's give it another go. Again, same thing. Wait till his friend goes up against the window, take him out, turn around, and quickly take out his friend. Fuck! Okay, let's give it another go, and this time we'll move faster, shall we? Oh, for fuck's sake! Uh, okay, this time it will definitely, definitely work. Oh, for fuck's sake! Okay, I'm really pissed off now. I need to calm down. Now, what can I use to help calm me down? Ah, that gives me an idea.
Ah, sorry about that. Lost my professional composure for a split second there. Anyway, this time let's try something a little different. Equip your assault rifle, take it over to this area right here and drop it. Then move back to the original area you were hiding behind. Eventually, the guard will walk past and notice your weapon and come over to collect it. This is your chance to take him out nice and quietly this time. This is unsettling. Quickly take him out and stuff his body into the container next to you. Now you have all the time in the world to take out his friend. After you've done that, stuff his body in this container right here and then suit up in his disguise. Now, this disguise allows us the power to dismiss other soldiers and we're going to use this to our advantage. Make your way outside of this room and head directly opposite you. Head towards the classroom to the right and use your new disguise to dismiss the two guards in there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Wait till they are at the building and then subdue this guy right here tied to the chair. When you've done that, take his body and stuff it in the locker room just over there. Suit up in his disguise and then take his place in the chair and our plan is in motion. Eventually our target will come downstairs to check on his prisoner. That is General Reza Zaydan, Keeper of the Peace. Wait till he gets close enough and that will be your perfect chance to strike. Well, don't tell me you're sleeping, Said. And that's one down and one to go. Take his body and stuff him in the same container you put his friend. Suit up in your original disguise and now it's time to leave the classroom. Make your way back out to school the exact same way you came in. Now it's time to head back all the way to the tunnel where you knocked out the original guy earlier with your hammer. Now, when you knock this guy out with your hammer, he would have dropped a key card. If you didn't pick it up before, make sure you pick it up now. Now just make your way all the way to the other end of this very, 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 very long tunnel. Oh, oh, oh for fuck's sake. I'm supposed to be a silent assassin. How much fucking running do I have to do? Oh, for fuck's sake, when will the light of this end of a tunnel end? Keep going all the way to the opposite end of a tunnel. When it finally ends, you'll be in an underground parking garage. You made it. Make your way to the opposite end of the garage now towards a set of double area. doors. Use the key card that you should have picked up to gain access. Make your way up the stairs, then make your way up these second stairs as well, where we can work towards getting our next disguise. Enter this room right here, where you will pick up a janitor disguise. This will allow us free roam of anywhere in the building. Reception desk. That was Connie Angstrom. 
Make your way back downstairs, keep going, take a right where we can make our way towards the kitchen area. Now, there is another janitor in here that we'll see through our disguise, so the first thing we have to do is get him out the way first. Wait till he makes his way out of the kitchen area and then follow him into the canteen area. Make sure the coast is nice and clear, then take him out. Now, although you can just do this later, I recommend doing it now. Before we do anything else, let's take out the CCTV footage of this building. Just wait in this kitchen area just for a few minutes until the security guard comes back. When he does and his back is turned to you, take him out. Stuff his body in a container to the opposite of the room and then suit up in his disguise. Now that we have his disguise, we can make our way into the security room without any problems. Head to the opposite end of the hallway and then take the room to the right. There is a lone guard in here that we'll see if we try and destroy the evidence, so we're going to have to lure him away first. Equip one of your coins and throw it to the opposite end of the room. Hi, uh, I think I heard something. Seriously? You need to radio headquarters to tell him that you heard a fucking penny drop? Oh, what an idiot. Anyway, when he's out the way, quickly delete the CCTV footage, then make your way back and collect your original janitor disguise. Ugh, all that running around in the tunnel has made me hungry. Maybe I can do myself a quick snack before I get back to murdering. Okay. Uh, now how do I use this oven? Okay, uh, just gotta turn it on here. What? Oh, fuck! Oh, uh, oh, shit! Oh, oh, fuck. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Um, oh... Oh, fuck it, just walk away. Just walk away, man. It was somebody else. I didn't do anything. Anyway, make your way out of a canteen area directly opposite you into the break room. Now, we want to get hold of this guy's disguise right here, but unfortunately, he won't leave this room. So, make your way over to this television shed, turn it on, this will interrupt his phone call. He will eventually leave the room to go somewhere more quiet to continue his phone call. Ah, hi there. Follow him back into the canteen area, and that will be your perfect time to strike. I'm sure I can manage. Thank you very much, Mr. Silhouette Guy. So, what's next here? Okay, just got to uh, make sure the coast is nice and clear. Yep, well, whoa, 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 where are you going, pal? No, 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 get away from there, man, get away from there. What, what are you doing? No, no, don't do that, don't do that. What the fuck are you flapping your arm around all that for? Oh, um, whoopsie daisy. No, I'm joking, obviously. This time, take him out. Okay. Uh. 
When you have done, stuff his body in the container directly opposite you. Suit up in his disguise and now it's time to make our way to target number two. Make your way out of the canteen area and head towards the reception desk. Connie Engstrom, Monsieur, here for an appointment with Klaus Strandberg. Oh, Mr. Engstrom, please proceed to the massage room. It's upstairs on the right. I'll inform Mr. Strandberg. After you finish your conversation, make your way up to the second floor. Now there is a guard up here that will frisk you before you go any further, so let's get that over with. Okay mate, feel free to put your hands all over me. I've got absolutely nothing to hide. What? What? What the fuck have I done wrong? What? I haven't done it. What, are you picking on me just because I'm wearing pink? What? Oh. Fuck. Okay, so this time make sure you dump your weapons before you continue forward. Head over to this bin right here and this will allow you to dump your pistol inside. And unfortunately we're gonna have to get rid of an old friend as well. I'm really gonna miss you pal. We've had some great times together. Once that's out of the way with, now we can make our way and get frisked without any worries. Easy buddy, I need to search you. Anything you want to show me? Oh, I've definitely got something I want to show you, pal. Put your hands a little lower and see for yourself. You're good. Please go through. Make your way up and head into the massage room right opposite you. Our target is already making his way there. Klaus Strandberg. Call me Klaus. So, to the massage room, shall we? Healing me, and I, I don't have a lot. Just wait here patiently for a while till we have our perfect chance to strike. Ah, so the man with the golden touch. Uh, let's get started. Shall we? Ah, oh, this muscle tension is killing me. Why don't you lie down, Mr. Strandberg? Oh, please, call me Klaus. Call you Klaus, eh? Yeah. I'd rather call you a fucking dead man. Wait till the security guard leaves the room and then make your way over to Klaus where we can rub our fingers all over him. I tell you, nothing makes you tense like thousands of people wanting to kill you. <laughs> and there you have it. That's both targets down. Both targets down. Make your way back towards the kitchen area where we can suit up back in our janitor disguise. Oh, and let's not forget collecting a few old friends while we're here as well. After you've retrieved your janitor disguise, make your way back up to the second floor of the building where we can retrieve our military officer disguise. After you've done that, make your way back to the underground parking facility.
and keep heading to the opposite end of the tunnels. Now, I know I've said this once and I've said it a thousand times before, there is literally no need to retrieve your suit whatsoever. But, just look! It's a really, really, really nice fucking suit! And I don't care what anybody says, I am always going to retrieve it. When you've done that, make your way back through to the shop area that you first come through. Carefully sneak past all the guards here, and then make your way over the railing. Once you've done that and you're clear, you can break out in, into a jog. Take a right, head to the opposite end, then take a left. Cut through the market area just like you did before. Again, same thing, push your way past all these people and let's get the hell out of here. And there you have it guys, mission accomplished with a 5 star rating and silent assassin. Never spotted, no notice killed, no bodies found and no recordings. I really hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it and hopefully I'll see you for episode 4 where we'll be heading to Bangkok. I'll see you next time guys.